for the last of our Anki 101 videos with the Anking, we're going to talk about making effective cards. Making effective cards not only makes your learning more effective, as you can see down here I set 227 cards in just under an hour, it also speeds that process up. I have been able to complete over 300 reviews in under an hour when I've been studying the cards that are made better. Now to start I'm going to show you an example of an extremely poorly made card. This is one of the first cards I ever made, talking about cystic fibrosis. You can see nothing is underlined, nothing is bolded, nothing is italicized, there's no pictures here, and there's a ton of information. One of the most important things, important principles as we're going into this is keep it simple, stupid. We want it simple, we want it easy, quick facts that we can recall. That's the best way to use Anki. Now I'm going to show you a card that was done much better, and this was done by Zonki. Isocitrate. Now we're going to look and see this card right here. You can see he has bolded, italicized, he's underlined things to, so that you know it's negative feedback as opposed to positive feedback. There's also, if we do, keto. Right here is a great example of one. Again, things are bolded, things are italicized. Down here, he's got a picture to help you with the big picture. That's the important thing. Sometimes people will lose the big picture as they're studying all these minute details with, with Anki. The key to avoiding that is to include some sort of picture and some sort of text in the extra section here that helps you to keep the big picture. So if we go to the preview here of this card, you can see it's really easy to draw your mind to isocitrate and isocitrate dehydrogenase, which leads you to think, oh, what comes because of that? Alpha ketoglutarate. And then you have the mnemonic here to help you remember, as well as the picture to help you see them, to, so that you remember all associated details. So those are my tips for making a very effective card. And you can do the same thing with image occlusion cards or whatever you're doing. You can add things in the extras. You can bold, you can underline so that it draws your mind's eye to things. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.